Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos and I'm at the new Fastened Charging Hub in Oxford. And there was some confusion on a previous video I did about this place uh, on the parking charges. So that's what I'm going to look at in this video. So this new charging hub is in the Redbridge Park and Ride car park at Oxford. And you have to pay to park your car here. That is if you're parking and then using the bus over there into town. And as you enter the car park here, there are cameras on that pole there, which I'm assuming are number plate recognition cameras and there's many CCTV cameras dotted around the car park. And if you're using the 10 Fastned charging bays here, there is a sign on each one saying maximum stay 45 minutes. But no signage on the AC charging there or the Tesla superchargers here. But as with many public chargers in the UK, you've just got to be a bit careful if these sites are within car parks or locations where there is charging so you've got to follow the rules otherwise you can be caught out and some weeks later you can get a fine in the post so on my previous video about this place people did comment and say you get one hour free parking which indeed you do but if you come over here to the machines and here's your parking machines here it does say that the first hour is free however you need to get a ticket. You need to register your number plate in the machine here. And this is how you get a ticket if you're paying, and this is how you get a ticket when you're not paying. So if you're not paying, what you've got to do is press the yellow button first, and it says this is to issue a free ticket. You've then got to put your registration number in, and press the green button, and then you get a ticket. And I'm assuming we're going to have to do this as EV drivers, otherwise you've got the risk of getting a fine. But I've been here twice so far using these Tesla superchargers here, and I haven't got that free ticket yet. And as of yet, not received anything in the post. And both times I was here for uh, a good 50 minutes each time, not only charging as I'm doing there, but also making these videos. So um, I'm not sure yet whether you do actually need to get that one hour free ticket if you're just charging, but it's a simple thing to do. So you might as well just um, err on the side of caution. So hope that helps. Uh, as always, hit the thumbs up button on YouTube if you've uh, found this video useful. That might help someone coming here for the first time and may save you getting a ticket. Anyway. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next video. So since recording this video I've discovered hosar.com I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'm here at Oxford again charging and I haven't picked up a ticket from the machine instead I'm relying on the app because that tracks when you go into a car park which uses the scheme and then tracks you going out and in this case you get one hour free and it sorts that for you so you don't have to go over there and pick up a ticket but of course if you stayed longer it will sort out the payment as well so if you're a regular user here up at Oxford you can use that or indeed the same for other car parks which uses hosar.com so here if you look around you will see you've got signage to say that it runs the hosar scheme and obviously then you don't have to get that ticket and it also helps if you happen to overstay your free period you don't have to worry about um, not having a ticket in your car the app is going to sort out the payment and you pay the correct amount when you leave over there.